Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to announce the beginning of a new series. A series in which we build, we create, we design, and we live in the life of the Kerbals, which will be living on and uh, the amazing Olympus Space Station. This is a new series that I'm starting. It's a series in which we send up lots of different modules to a space station created by myself and any others who want to participate. That includes you. You right now watching this can help me out by building this. Well, helping me to build this anyway. A lot of YouTubers are saying they have to be um, stock parts. They have to be um, stock because we don't really want to use too many mods and although I can understand that I think it's a very limiting in the in the in the immensity of like what you can build um, Mods add a lot of stuff to the game and I think in building this space station we should be allowed to use mods and that's why if you want to submit a ship I am not at all going to be restricting you with uh, the need for stock parts. Uh, if you if you want to use mods, I am happy for you to use mods. But in entering this, uh, you do have to apply by a few rules and a few guidelines. First of all, um, if you want to send a ship to me, uh, you can just uh, message me over YouTube. You just stick my username, that's Kerbinot, into your um, uh, your recipient or whatever it is and you message me through YouTube and you can send me a link to uh, the download for your ship and um, that I'll have a look at that and it will be very epic and hopefully I'll get some um, some reasonable submissions um, you're allowed to use mods but um, don't just send me a ship which is just consistent of one mod. So like, say you get home mod, the home pack. Uh, obviously you're not going to use that in a space station, but I'm just taking it as an example. Like, don't just send me the home, uh, send me a ship made just literally out of the home module. Because that is not um, inspiring, that is not your creativity showing. Um, it's just someone else's mod that you're basically showcasing. And we don't want that, we want to show creative use of not only stock parts, but mod parts. So that's the first rule, be creative. Uh, be creative in whatever you send to me. Uh, second thing really is just um, try not to make the part count too high. I'm not putting a limit on it right now because I know that can really re re restrict some of the building. Uh, so I'm not going to put a limit on that, but try to keep the part count low. For example, um, don't stick a bazillion antennas on there because, um, just as an example, antennas are um, quite sophisticated in the mechanics of it and so uh, when when there becomes more and more modules the lag will get annoying and it'll just, it'll really decrease from the, the whole effect of the space station. Um, so yeah, keep the part count low. Uh, try and make it look nice. Uh, it's, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to look nice. I, I mean, don't make it like don't set out to make it look nice, but if you can, make it look attractive. It's always, always good to have an attractive ship. And um, keep the weight down as well, try and keep the weight down. Uh, I, most of these are very basic tips for anything you're putting into orbit. Um, again, um, I'm not putting a limit on the weight. You can really, if, it's, if it looks awesome and if there's a reason for it, and it, for a reason for it being heavy, then that's completely fine. If there's a good reason for it being heavy, then I will accept that and it'll be fine. Because uh, I, I can just design lifters, um, I'm not putting a weight count on it because I want to be able to change the lifters. Um, that That is about it, so be, make it creative uh, and all sorts of stuff like that. So I figured for the core of this new space station, the Olympus space station, uh, if we're using mods, I thought it would be uh, very kind of ceremoniously cool if we went with a stock part here. Um, so we've gone with the stock uh, space station core uh, just to start things off, and you can see we've got the uh, we've got a whole bunch of docking ports here, so we can dock things to it. If I don't get any submissions, 
because uh, I mean I'm, I'm very I, I know that it's it'll be hard for me to get some missions because I'm only a small youtuber oh, you know I'm just so tiny but if I don't that's fine I'll, I'll make some myself because I'm forever alone <laughs> uh, anyway well there we go folks we've launched up our very first um, module as such to start this great series which I well I hope it'll be great I hope it'll be good um, and that is all for right now so get those ideas turning in your head whether you are a KSP uh, fanatic or not even if it's a simple wee ship uh, we can go ahead and use it well there we go it has uh, it's an exciting beginning to hopefully what will be a cool uh, short series. Get those submissions coming, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.